guys, how's it going? So we got the old M4A1 spinning in front of us right now, and I've had quite a few people request for me to do an aggressive class setup for this, because I've been doing that with a couple of guns so far, and y'all have been liking that, so that's what we're going to be doing right meow, is taking and throwing on some, uh, some attachments on this bad boy to make it play out aggressively with the standard 5.56 ammunition that runs in this. Now, I've already done a 9mm, uh, you know, class setup for this, covering the 9mm ammo attachment and that itself does play out very well uh, you know as an aggressive class setup but if you want to rock it in the 5.56 this is the way to go and this one right here is actually probably my preferred way to run it with the 5.56 I've played around with the 458 SOCOM rounds and I mean, I really like those. I like the 9mm, but keeping it with a 5.56 is probably the best way to, uh, to run your M4 if you're wanting uh, to run it aggressive because you still have the ability to run it at like a, you know, to, to run a gun at a medium range as well. Like you can, sometimes you could probably pop off long range shots with this, but you definitely have to be mounted up and really control your shots. But you wouldn't want to go up against something, you know, like a, uh, you know, somebody sniping. But since we got the Cabin Fever playlist, we got close range maps. Now's a great time to test this out. And, you know, after the, uh, the pack, and the, the update that's dropping uh, Tuesday on the 28th, April 28th, we'll be getting uh, Shoot the Ship back. So that'll be awesome, and that'll be a great time to run this as well. So what we're going to be doing is I tried a bunch of different variations, including the 11.5 Commando Barrel and running it with some suppressors, the compensator. Just very, very disappointed. My favorite barrel is the FSS 12.4 Predator Barrel, so we're throwing that on. We got the integrated suppressor. We got a shorter barrel, quicker ADS time. Then we're going to go to under barrel and throw on the commando foregrip, okay? So that right there gives us a bit of aiming stability. It helps really shoot flat with this barrel. I, you know, I tried my vertical foregrips, but I, I noticed a very, very minor increase in accuracy, and it wasn't really justifiable to use those vertical foregrips with this because most of our engagements, we're going to be trying to keep up close and personal. So just having a little bit better, uh, you know, ADS time is really what's going to help us the most. Now, and, and here's one thing that could be personal preference as well. If you are just all about the ADS time, then you can leave the standard 30 round mag on and, you know, slam people just that much quicker if you're really all about that sprint to fire speed. But I like to throw on the 60 round mag. It does not hurt your mobility that much because we're going to be going to the stock and throwing on the no stock option. So our mobility is still way beyond what any other M4 setup would be. Um, but, you know, you could always sub out and just keep the 30 round mag it comes with it and go with like the stipple grip tape slide a hand would be a great option uh, because you wouldn't lose that minor minor notch of mobility and you could switch out your mags that much faster but I like being able to know that if I run into four or five people at once I have a greater chance of getting them just because I have 60 rounds in the old magazine and that's great for whenever you're playing a map like shipment and now for this one I'm going to be going with the monocle reflex sight the Russian reflex sight just because I've had some people request I throw that on it actually runs very very well with this setup and uh, the next setup that I'm going to be covering so so, you know, just trust me. If you haven't used it or you don't like it, you think it's goofy, it is kind of goofy looking, but it plays out very well on this setup. Now, for a full class rundown, we got the old M4 setup I just showed you guys. In my secondary class, I got the uh, the new Renetti setup with the, uh, the burst variation, as I showed in my best Renetti burst class setup video. Uh, for perks, we'll be rocking EOD Ghost and Tune Up. For my lethal, got the old frag grenade. And for my tactical, I got a stun grenade. Woo! Okay, sweet. First tribe, or I guess I first search. We got uh, Shoot Owls, got Hard Point. Hard Point is a phenomenal. Like, this setup right here is just all about the objective games. I mean, don't, like, you can easily run through people and TDM, kill confirmed, whatever. But being able to hop into an objective game, I mean, just look at that ADS time, bro. I mean, that right there, if that right there ain't quick enough for you to get somebody, then. I mean, I guess you need to go play old Black Ops 3 and throw on the VMP because that's about the only thing you could probably beat the ADS time on this. I mean, you know, like I said, take that 60 round mag off, be a little bit better. But even after I took and tried throwing on the 5 milliwatt laser, the TAC laser, all that stuff, still couldn't make like a noticeable difference. I mean, this thing just absolutely melts people. And now something that I'm, I'm going to be doing soon since I'm getting into all these variations and stuff and it's kind of coming up in the comments now that, you know, things are growing more. Um, my, my, like I said, I know I've touched on this before and it's not an excuse, but like my performance when I'm doing these break th breakdowns and like the commentary, I... I try to focus quite a bit on the commentary itself and make sure that, you know, I, it doesn't just sound like a rambly mess, and that takes away a lot of my concentration from from the gameplay. So in a lot of in a lot of games between getting occasional lag spikes 
and then focusing on the commentary the my performance is normally lackluster compared to what it normally is it's normally not atrocious necessarily unless it's just a weapon that i am not able to perform very well with with or doesn't really match my play style um so with that being said, I'm going to do a couple videos with face cam and stuff. But hello, can I have my gun back? Thank you. Uh, with face cam because, uh, you know, if I just sit here and play and don't talk and you don't have something to look at for a reference point of me personally, then I'd feel like the video, for one, wouldn't even do well. And two, it just wouldn't be any kind of enjoyment to watch. But, like, I can definitely promise you that... Uh, Normally, like, my, my game average KD is at least 2.5 or 3. Um, like, I, ever since I got to, Ma like, when I was doing Damascus, bro, the flipping uh, between the the launchers and then doing the right shield and the knife and stuff destroyed my KD. Like, I think it went down to 0.9. And, uh, you know, ever since I've already got it back up to, like, 1.3, I think, 1.4. And there's a little bit of a lag spike. We're going... What is my internet doing? Anytime I try to do something, bro, my internet just comes in and just starts choking to death. So, 7 and 4. So, like I said, I, in these videos, I like to keep it 2.0. And with this class setup, bro, I've been dropping 3.0 games so easy. Like, if this right here has got to be... The M4, they made it one of the most well-rounded guns in the game. Uh, just for obvious reasons. It's such an iconic platform, especially for the time period that this, uh, you know, this game... Can I flip and kill you, please? What What is that? Well, that right there was poor accuracy on my part. And see, like, right now, we don't even have to reload. And if somebody was pushing like that guy did right there, just not having to uh, not having to get caught with your pants down reloading can make the difference between you going on and getting one kill, two kills, three kills, this, that, or the other, and the hard point is rotating. Not playing the objective as hard as I would like to right now. I just want to focus on getting kills so you guys can just kind of really get a good look at how this gun, uh, you know, functions. But we, we actually got, like, the second most time in the hard point anyways. So it's not like we ain't doing a, a, a bit of contributing right now. Dude, what is with these lag spikes? I've been playing all god dang night and don't have it, don't have a single issue. And then I flip an op on it. I'm telling you, bro, it's, it's something. It's linked to my flipping PVR or something. It's just like anytime, uh, anytime that thing goes on and starts recording, it just starts making my internet just have an absolute stroke. Um, but yeah, something I'd like to do too while we're in season three, uh, depending on how the first few uh, experimental videos go with the uh, like the whole face cam thing that I was just talking about, dude. I'm like, do y'all not see this? Please tell me you see it. Please tell me you see it. It is so frustrating. It makes me want to rip my hair out by the roots and just flipping. I don't know, join a hippie commune or something because. I need some peace and love right now. Jesus Christ. I feel like I'm in the Matrix. And not, not the legit Matrix, but like the flipping... The, the, the budget matrix where you flip and glitch in the walls and garbage. So I'm going to just hop up here. I'm hoping this guy can test me because, like, everything just done did went and settled out right now. I'm going to throw that grenade right there so he's, he's either got to push in or come give me a hug. You know what? Let's just get to the hard point. Just, just that, like, where hard point is such a fast-paced game mode, just that amount of time right there that I was... Oh, wow, that felt phenomenal to my character. Flipping C4 to the face. He's either got to peek out or be mounted up on that wall. So I'm just going to back up and reload. We can definitely take our spot back at the top of the leaderboard, but we just got to... Uh, one, we got to get some, uh, some solid internet connectivity here. And then two... Hello? Teammate, are you okay? Flipping sounds like he was having a rough time over there. Got him right in the noggin. Like, if you run the 9mm rounds, you'll definitely notice uh, a little bit of a difference in the fire rate. But just the, the, the extra bump in damage that you get with the 5.56 five, rounds, you know, it definitely equals out and makes this play a lot better with the 5.56. Five, like, you could replicate this same setup between, like, this or that original 9mm setup that I showed in uh, the 9mm setup video. Is this guy, like, chilling behind the... What is happening? What are, what are you doing? What are you doing looking at me like that, bro? I don't, I don't like the attention I'm getting and I'm out of bullets everybody every other gun on this game runs 5.56 five, why can I not flip and there we go okay that's the nice thing too about the 5.56 five, and I mean the 9 millimeters kind of the same way but without having scavenger you can still scavenge ammunition because most of, most all the guns on not all the guns obviously but a lot of the guns run 5.56 five, and uh, it's easy to find ammo so uh, you don't have to waste a perk slot with scavenger. You can use your uh, you can use your dead silence whenever you want to. Look at that. So that right there, that's considered a long shot for this. But like, that's not really long range. I would consider that like on the longer end of medium range. And we still just standing, not mounted up with this. Accuracy is plenty good to just dominate. Got a nice quick double. Got our VTOL here. Maybe that'll really help. Uh, kind of help solidify our. 
uh, our team's potential win. Right now we're losing. I don't want to bust in there because I'm just a couple kills away from the helo and I don't have enough ammunition. I'm actually going to pick up this guy's uh, MP5. Okay, yeah, this guy's going to peek. I'm going to... This guy's got the monitor. The, this Russian side, I'm telling you, it's kind of... I don't know. It seems to be pretty underrated in my opinion now that I've started using it. Um, I'm glad a couple of you guys suggested that I try it out and incorporate it into uh, some of these setups because I normally definitely prefer iron sights because I feel like a lot of the class setups... Um, you know, there's better attachments out there. If I can just touch that gun right there. Hello, game. I touched it. Why are you not giving me the ammo? Or is that the MP7? Okay, yes, the MP7. Forgive me, stupidity, people. That was... Okay, there's nobody on that right side, so I'm not going to contest that. Let's get you right here, sir. Thank you. Still running the MP... Okay, we're going to have to switch to the MP5 right now. One kill away. Oh, you know what? I'm dipping. I bet he's got C4 or some gay garbage like that. He's going to try to flip and touch me with. Flipping. No means no, buddy. I don't want you to flip and slap my cheeks with your right shield. And I'm glad that I can just deep throat some Nova 6 guys, because that's what I'm going to call that, even though it's, you know, not Black Ops 1. I'm going to stick with the old Nova gas reference. Oh, is he going to push? Please push. Yes. I, about, I was off on my shot right there, but we got the support helo. This guy, if he don't push me, I don't know what game he thinks he's playing, because it takes 10 years to heal on here without stem shot. Stem shot would be a good way, a good thing to incorporate in this, too, just because, uh, if, you, if you're going to be playing aggressive, please... There we go. That was... What are what are the odds? And it's got to be a guy running god dang 300 blackout. There's AK-47, a P90. Everybody's running every gun that doesn't have 5.56 this game for some stupid reason. Okay, I think I might have... No, picked up 9mm rounds for the gun that I'm not doing a video on, so I'm sorry about that. I'm about... You know what I'm going to do? This is what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to throw this down, and while I'm restocking ammo, I know that I'm going to flip and just get gang banged by the enemy team and it only gives me a handful of ammo i get more ammo because i'm running these 60 round mags but now well the hard points already switched how are we not at the top of the leaderboard bro we got 31 kills i guess that guy's just probably playing the object then they just take every kill that i try to get oh my god i hate to drop shot you buddy but it had to be done i'm gonna throw that down right there the, the fact we didn't tag somebody hurts my feelings we got a lot of ammo now there we go taking our spot back at the top of the leaderboard Bro, and there's the lag. Now we're going to die to some gay garbage. Somebody's going to push around the corner. That right shield guy's going to throw a knife right in my... Look at that. What did I tell you? Flipping. I knew that was coming right away. Okay, you know what? Let's top off the mags because they're going to be pushing in here hard. I'm going to stand back off the hard point. I could get more points if... Well, you know what? I need... Well, you know, if they're going to gas every two seconds, then it don't really matter because you're going to choke to death and you're going to get goddamn mesothelioma. And then you're going to have to call that hotline that comes on TV flipping every three seconds to call for compensation. God dang, we're on 18 kill streak. By God, what if you done did went and dropped? I ain't trying to drop a nuke. Like, like I said, we're trying to play aggressive, not flipping smart and get a nuke. Like, I will do a nuke video at some point in the near future, but now is not the time for that. But if it happens, it happens. But I just jinxed myself right there, and I got a lag spike, too. There's no way I can drop a nuke. In, with Hello, game? What is that spawn? There's no way I can drop a nuke with a lag going down like in order for me to like i'm still in talking to my internet company because it's a mystery like it's a huge mystery the first nine months that i had my internet that i got now i was fine never lagged and then out of the blue started lagging like i got the the highest package they offer and then just suddenly out of the blue there's an issue and we're trying to figure out what it is and i mean they're being pretty helpful for the most part but they don't uh they don't know what the, they don't know what the deal is so uh you know if any of you guys got suggestions i've went through basically everything that you could think of and like all the simple things uh like the simplest fixes that there could possibly be i'm just going to flip and shoot dude oh my god this renetti this renetti it's just something special with that three round burst it, what what dimension am i in am I, am I am i even on planet earth right now like let's be real Get off the flag, you. That right there is where that 60 round comes in handy. Especially, you know what, if you lag in the 60 rounds is, is a huge help because you can flip and just spray and pray in the midst of a lag spike and you don't really have to worry about it as much. Your odds of getting the kill increase tenfold. Okay, oh, is this guy behind? Yeah, he really is. Let's just, let's pop him right there in the noggin, dude. This thing, I'm man, this class right here, this is going to be one of my new go-to favorite classes to run. Uh, especially when Shoot the Ship comes back out. I'm going to lay down and I don't understand. I'm glad that he's made a Kevlar or something because he should have died 10 times in that little engagement right there. I'm going to lay down, pop them two guys, slide in on here. 
get these. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. That right there, you know what that is? That's play of the game, let me tell you. No doubt about that. Man, this class. This class. It smacks. It smacks. It absolutely smacks. Get out of my toaster oven, bro. God dang it. He done went and gave me the freshetta pizza on that one right in my toaster oven. Now, you got to be careful if people are really on head counts. So this is hard point where And this is playing pretty fast. Like, people are moving around, you know, keeping it swifty. But... Uh, if people are really, really trying to play the old head camp game, it, you can definitely lose gunfights with this because it's very accurate. Boop! Gonna pop you down. You ain't gonna have a chance to breathe, buddy. And we're get what, what was that? Was that my grenade that hurt me right there? Oh. Hello? No, that was C4. C4 done blew me away. Luckily, see, anytime my team's winning, bro, I'm, I, I don't care about the enemy team. I'm just all about competing against my own teammates in terms of the leaderboard. So, like, that's why anytime somebody passes me score-wise, it really frustrates me for no reason whatsoever because it shouldn't really matter if, you're, if your team's winning, you know, the objective. What's your KD looking like? 53 and 14, not too shabby. We can about to drop a 4.0 KD with the lag, bro. With the lag, like I said, I, my commentary, I would say personally, like isn't wasn't nearly as good this game because I did try to focus a wee bit more on the uh, on the game performance, and I think it shows compared to some of the other videos, considering that we've also had to deal with some lag issues. But uh, I feel like a lot of you guys would rather have a you know an entertaining commentary, and because like the the in-game performance during the commentary doesn't necessarily speak for the uh for the class as a whole for like you know as in its entirety hello why am i getting shot in the back why am i getting shot in the back i just spawned okay you know what we're gonna take that back we're gonna just try to okay i wasn't winning that when there was three dudes right there just absolutely dialed in on me and ain't i guess why they shot in the back that right there is the only thing that can really throw a flipping monkey wrench into the old kd right quick fast in a hurry but we finished it out 56 and 19 so that's like what a 2.8 2.7 kd uh top of the leaderboard we had a minute five yeah a minute and 50 seconds in the in the uh, hard point we got play of the game I mean, just look at that, bro. That's what it's all about right there. This class absolutely melts. For those of you guys that requested this, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, you know, I enjoyed making it. This class is now one of my favorites, like all-time favorites. And, you know, I, I don't normally, was never that big of a fan of the M4. But, yeah, the, uh, the scar is going to be next. And then I'll be touching on the old lever-action marksman rifle again. So, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And uh, yeah, appreciate you just checking out the video. And until the next one, adios.